Thanks for joining me on this episode of Candidates Forum. And we are here with Mitch Parsons, who is running for Lincoln County Commissioner. Hi, Mitch. Hello. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and experience. Okay. Uh, as you said, my name is Mitch Parsons, and I'm running for Lincoln County Commissioner. Um, I'm currently a Lincoln City City Councilor, uh, which also makes me a budget member and part of the Urban Renewal Agency. Um, outside of that, I'm president of the Depot Bay Chamber of Commerce, and I'm also an ambassador for Lincoln City Chamber of Commerce. And let's talk a little bit about why you think you are best suited to be our next Lincoln County Commissioner. Before I ran for City Council, I did a lot of youth sports, coached a lot, and so I heard a lot from uh, parents and other community members at these gatherings, uh, how they didn't feel listened to or heard and their problems weren't being addressed at the city level. So that's when I decided to run for city council. I was elected three years ago. And since then, I've still been hearing the same kind of talk from our extended community. Here in the North County, it's not just Lincoln City. Everybody from Rose Lodge to Otter Rock has to come into Lincoln City for their kids' schooling, um, grocery shopping, everything else. So we're more of just one big community rather than just a town. So I've been hearing a lot about they still feel unheard. They still feel like we're so far away that we're not being listened to and we're just kind of put on the back burner with our needs. So I'm really running to give a voice to the people that still feel like they don't have one. Um, I'm really big into being out in the community, being where people are and not making them come to me for the information. Um, as you all know, we're not all in one spot. We're not all on Facebook. We don't all read the newspaper, listen to the radio. So it's really being out there at community events and really taking your message to the people. So Mitch, let's talk a little bit about what you would do as Lincoln County Commissioner. Okay. Well, like I've been saying, I think a lot of it is we're still a small enough county to be one big community. We don't have to be as segmented as we are. We don't have to leave South County, East County, North County out of everything. It's more than just Lincoln City and Newport is what I hear a lot of is the county seems to focus on just these municipalities when the county is more than just the cities. So one of the things that uh, the county currently does, uh, the county commissioners, is to meet with the local cities. I think it's like once a month they go to a different city and, and have a joint meeting. Is that something that you would support continuing? Oh, absolutely. I think it needs to be done more, quite honestly. Um, as a city councilor, we meet with them once a year. We have a, it's a quick one hour usually meeting, um, just going over joint topics. And then they continue on after that joint meeting and have their regular meeting afterwards. But it doesn't seem like it's enough time to really discuss the issues and um, see where we could come together and help each other on meeting the needs. So let's talk a little bit about the different areas of the county. What do you think Toledo needs um, to help them out. How would you help out Toledo? How would you help out Newport, South County, Walport, Yahats? I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in your community. This is what I do here now. Right now, I represent Lincoln City, so I'm full-throated, wholeheartedly Lincoln City, all about my community, all out in it. If I'm going to be a county commissioner, I'm going to be out in our county a lot more. I'm going to be in Toledo, going to be in Yahats, Walport, Newport. I'm going to be going to those community events just to be around the people, just to hear what they have to say. And, um, you know, that's what it's really about. It's not all just emails and phone calls. That usually is at the point where people are fed up. If you can get out to these events and hear what the issues are before it gets to that point, we might not end up in some of these situations where they have to have a voter referendum or put um, an initiative on the ballot to figure it out. Uh, speaking of such, um, let's get your point of view from some important topics um, such as VRDs. So uh, VRDs have their place. Um, from the county, as we know, 203 was voted on and people don't want them in incorporated county and voters have spoken. Um, the courts are now going to decide. But to me that 203 came out of 
not being heard. It was, I don't think it's as much about housing availability as it is about neighborhood livability. When we have our code enforcement officers working nine to five during the week, and most STR and VRD people are here during the weekend, you call to make a complaint and, oh, we'll pass that on. And so it never feels like the complaints are being dealt with or that the situation gets better. So people just get more frustrated to the point where we ended up with 203, people had their say, and now the county knows what is wanted. Um, so do you see uh, how important, however, uh, VRDs are economically to certain areas of the county? Oh, absolutely. I think VRDs do have their place. I just don't think it's everywhere. Our economy right now is fully tourism based for the most part in this county. And while yes, we need to diversify and bring in things that takes time and you don't want to cut yourself off at the knees and get rid of tourism before you have something to replace those dollars. Otherwise that just ends up raising people's taxes. And so anything we could do to keep the cost of living down, I'm all for because it's really cost of living, especially right now, that's a huge issue in this county. As you know, we're already a lower income county. The homelessness is a huge issue. A lot of people live in paycheck to paycheck. And I can sympathize with that. I've been there. Um, it wasn't till about four years ago that we finally were able to pull ourselves up just enough to not be living paycheck to paycheck. And it's still a struggle as it is for most people. So Mitch, how do you feel about collaboration? We talked about collaboration with the cities. How would you feel about being able to collaborate with uh, the folks in Salem, uh, the state representatives, uh, state senators, uh, going after those issues that affect us here in Lincoln County? Uh, this is where I think I might have a leg up, actually. I have relationships with our state representative, David Gomberg, and our state senator, Dick Anderson. I also know some staff of others um, in the Capitol building, so that's already a foot in the door. For Definitely, you got to work with all levels, even federal. Federal, state, county, municipal, if it's within a city, the more collaboration, the better. Um, the more that our state representatives know our needs, the more likely they're going to get met. Um, we just had short session and our representatives were able to bring a Eve $16 million back locally to help a bunch of different projects going on. But they would never know that those projects needed money if we weren't telling them about them and in their email and in their ear constantly. The more they know about our needs, the more likely they are to fight for them. So again, can you remind folks why you feel that you are the best candidate for Lincoln County Commissioner? Uh, yeah, like I said, I am a very community oriented guy. Um, I have the experience now um, at City Council. I understand budgets. I understand how we work as a government. I understand, unfortunately, how slow we are and how long things take. And I want to get beyond that. And that takes working together. Um, I'm going to be in your community. You're going to get to know me. I'm not just going to be a name that you read in the paper or online that made a decision for you. The decisions I would be making are the decisions you want made. Um, you know, I get asked a lot, are you Democrat, are you Republican? And I'm a non-affiliated voter. Um, not one side defines me, and I don't think it defines any of us. Um, neither party wholeheartedly represents who I am or what I'm about, but there are parts of each party that do represent who I am. You know, I, I would say that I am socially liberal, and I'd say when it comes to finances and stuff like that, I'm pretty conservative. Um, be who you wanna be, live loud, be proud, and just do you. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mitch. Again, running Mitch Parsons for Lincoln County Commissioner. And where can folks find some more information about you? Okay, I'm online. Parsonsfororegon.com is my website. And I also have a Facebook page, uh, Mitch Parsons. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Candidate Forum. Thanks for having me.